Welcome to our next episode. So in this episode, we'll be looking at a couple of things as a quick recap. What we was able to accomplish in our last episode was we talked to Thora finally. Um, uh, technically, Thora found us and we updated them on what's happening with the radio. Um, they wanted us to... A call for additional backup to be sent um, I don't know how productive that is because I my characters really bad at reading people but they're getting a, a reading that there's something nefarious going on so we will do a call later on this evening um, and I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, the thing is, is I don't want to, Alex doesn't want to bring in more people um, to a situation that's deteriorating. So if he brings in more people, he wants to bring in somebody that he could trust or that can, you know, more or less handle themselves. Um, so he needs to figure out a way of accomplishing that without making it too obvious. One of the ways is I think we'll secure the radio uh, building, but that's uh, that's on a next that's on a next scene. So uh, we're starting off on scene eight, and uh, let's take a look here. The goal of scene eight is to search the doctor's quarters and the tech's quarters. We need to find out where the doctor's gone, where the tech's gone, and more importantly, if the doctor had any uh, notes or anything, maybe not even his quarters. We might check his actual uh, workstation and see if we could find anything that might tell us what he was looking for um, when he went searching for whatever. So maybe we could at least locate like which direction he made, something like that. Um, so we're going to talk to Thora and find out if we can um, get... Uh, the location of where the doctor's quarters are and make sure that everything's okay with we have access I'm sure it's gonna be fine but this is mythic so you never know how it's gonna you know end up but um, so let's get the scene started we are at a chaos factor of five and let's see here So we got a four, which is an interrupted scene. Um, it's a PC negative, and they changed their wishes. So in that regards, what we're going to say is I'm going to ask uh, Thora if we can go ahead and investigate the doctor's quarters and his workstation and try to get a location of it. and. I think at that point, let's just do this. At that point, I think we get interrupted. And when we find out what's going on, um, they ask us to come quick. And when we go to find out what's going on, it's me, Thora, um, probably the nurse is there already. And when we go to find out what, um, what happened, we find the doctor unconscious. So let me update that in the scene real quick. But yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to find a doctor unconscious. So let's do a quick question real quick. Is the doctor unconscious? Um, I'll leave it as a 50-50. get a 21 I don't like the screen popping up so let me see if I can fix that but we get a 21 which is a yes okay so he's definitely unconscious so um, does he have any spots on him I'm gonna say that's probably unlikely yeah let's ask a fake question does he have a fever or spots does it look like um, 
Does it look like he's been contaminated? Again, I'm not liking this screen is popping up, so I may have to fix that. Uh, let's see here. He does. Okay. So we know that he has contracted this toxin. So we're going to put him back in with the rest of the patients. We're going to do the exact same procedure, but I'm going to stay with him and see if I can get his fever down any faster. So, um... Let's update that real quick. And I'll be right back. We've located the doctor's body and we found that he seems to have contracted the contagion also. Um, so we're going to put him with the other patients that are affected the same way. And let's get a little investigation on here is the did the doctor have um first of all was he where was he found um was he found um on the outskirts of town on the way in or what i would say that he probably was found on the way in very likely and see what we got here um, yes he was found on the road into town so he must have been gathering things does he have any ingredients plants or anything on him um, that might be a clue as to what he was doing Exceptional, yes. Okay, so I'm going to say he not only has that, he also has a note uh, book filled with all the ingredients and like what his plan was to um, get this medicine or concoction started. So um, let's see, does he have all the ingredients on his list? yes okay so our scene is now changing and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say that what we're going to do is we're going to take care of the doctor and try to make up this medicine by following his directions Okay, so that's going to be our next scene. But for now, um, we kind of accomplished this. We searched the doctor's quarters. We found a doctor. So let's go with a... We probably lowered the chaos factor because we was kind of in control. So let's go down to a four. And let's get a quick roll to see if our next scene goes uh, to plan. It's a four. yes so it goes normally great so what we're gonna do is where we put the doctor up and I tell the nurse to get a station set up so we could start making some of this medicine or trying to and um, locate any ingredients any supplies we need anything that we need um, to make this up I'm gonna say I probably pretty likely let's see Let's move this over here real quick. Oh, I gotta move this here. There we go. Alright, so let's take a look here so I have medical above average 
So, let's do a contested scene here, above average. Okay, so I have above average. That puts us up here, and I'm going to say that this is probably a not of a, a run-of-the-mill um, disease, as I haven't located it before. So I'll say it's a 35. Uh, we'll go with uh, up to. So let's take a look here. Yeah, so that's up to. Let me think a second. Do I have anything else to bring it down? Oh, I also have uh, intuition, which is exceptional. Exceptional, I think it's two or three changes. Let's take a look here. Exceptional is three, so that brings it up to an incredible when I add them together. And so it's an incredible. Um, our chaos factor doesn't matter right now. That doesn't matter. So we're in the exceptional range. Move this over here. Uh, let's see. We are 75 is what we're going for. So we're going to change it by 20 points, basically. And I'll accept that. I'll, I'll do that because I got... I got some points coming off here in a minute anyway. All right, so we're gonna change that to uh, 40 to be 29. Okay, so I use my points. So we succeed in making the recipe that we hope will uh, fix the doctor. Um, that's, that's the goal here. We lowered our chaos factor. Everything is okay. We are now in scene nine. Alright, so we're following the doctor's instructions, we're mixing this medicine, we're getting that all set up as best as we can. Um, what else is happening here? <clears throat> okay, I guess, let's see, how long does it take us to make this medicine we started making it I'll say probably around two and let's see does it take let's just roll a die here so we have a d10 yeah we'll see how much it takes out of a d10 that'll give us five hours so it is a nine divided by two is four and a half hours it was two so we'll say it's about seven o'clock in the evening Now, during that time, I don't think we're just sitting around. I'm going to say that we go back and we search the quarters of the text room. So, <clears throat> do we find anything in the text room to show that they left in a hurry or maybe they didn't leave at all, all their stuff's there? Um, so let's let's make this one. Does it look like that the tech left willingly? In other words, did he grab stuff to leave? And I'll say that is probably unlikely.
All right, so all of his stuff is still here. Okay. So I'm going to look around and see if I can find anything that... Anything that might tell me where... Okay, so we confirm a Hoper theory. Um, so my theory is is that he left on his own accord. I believe, let's see, all of his stuff is still here. So I think that... <clears throat> I got it. So the tech was working with the doctor to try to uh, locate all of the herbs and stuff. So I'm going to set a search party until nighttime. Um, I want them to search the location where the doctor was found in hopes to find the, the tech that's missing. Because um, I think maybe they was working together on something. That's that's my hope. And maybe he's out there sick also. So with that, let's see. So, nighttime comes. Um, does anything... Nighttime's falling. We're getting the uh, medicine cooked up. We're getting the first batch ready. And we're going to try it out on... Let's see. We'll try it out on our patient that was somewhat responsive, that wasn't as ill. So, uh, Charles Payton. So... We have Charles try this medicine, and as they're trying the medicine, we're going to wait and see um, if they feel better or anything. Now, let's see here. Alright, so let's put that there, and then we're going to say... Um, does Charles try the medicine? Is he willing to try the medicine? Okay, chaos factors are four. An interrupted scene, so that's a no. PC negative, okay. Disruptive art, okay. So as we go to talk to Charles, we find that Charles is not willing no he's unconscious so he cannot make the decision to try to medicine so is there somebody here that can try to medicine I would say that's kind of likely let's see And I would say that's probably very likely they're not doing well. Yes. Okay, so we give them the medicine and we're going to wait um, probably an hour and check back in. So I'm going to stay on site for the next hour. And... Um, update like our tenth scene all right so while we're waiting on that let's check on the doctor and we will see Wait, did scene 10 update? Yeah, okay. And we'll see how the doctor's doing. So, is the doctor stable? Um, 
he was out in the cold. I'll say it's unlikely. No, he's not stable. Okay, so we're going to give the doctor the medicine too. We can't take the chance if if we're not doing well with the doctor, then we need to give him the medicine too. So we're going to give him the medicine also. We got to try. I mean, if he was willing to risk his life for this, then surely it was uh, something that he would, you know, be willing to test out or try, I would I would say. Um, we're trying out the medicine. Um, we was in control of the scene. No, we wasn't. So we will move the chaos factor up. There we go. Chaos factors up. Yeah, we're back up to five. Okay. Okay. So... <clears throat> Let's see if they are doing better. I go back after an hour. Um, I haven't really left, but I'm staying in the general area. And after an hour, I'm going to see if... Uh, are the patients that I gave the medicine to, do, to doing better? It's a chaos rank of 5. Now let's see here. Yes, they are doing better. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so beans, they're doing better. I'm going to give medicine to everybody. Do I have enough medicine to give to everybody? I would say probably very likely. No. I don't. Mm -mm -mm. It's not an extreme no. Okay, so let's take a look at where we was at here. We are at five now, so we bump this up to a five. And we rolled an 89. Wait a minute. I forgot to add my medicine. Um, so let's see. That brings it up. I had it at very likely. So that brings it up to nearly certain, which is an 85. And it was an 89. I'm going to bump it up. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I need to use 4 points, and I'm going to do that. I do that right now. Uh, so that should be 25 if I'm counting that correctly. So, yes, we have enough medicine. Whew. That was close. Okay. So now that we have enough medicine, we're giving it to everybody. Um, I think our nighttime, yep, nighttime coast is clear triggers. So let's go and see. Let's update scene 10. Now I'm specifically giving it to all patients with a fever. All patients are presenting with a fever. Some are presenting with spots. Some of them aren't. Um, so I need to check in on, it's safe. Yes, I need to check in on the ones with spots. Are the ones with no spots, are they still spot free or do they have spots? And I would say it's probably, okay, I need to ask only one question. The patients with no spots on them, 
still have no spots and I would say it's nearly certain yes okay so we're not getting spots as I'm administering the medicine I check them all over and the ones that we isolated without the spots um, they still have no spots on them okay so I'm gonna tell them to give anybody that has a fever um, this medicine and to monitor them if they aren't already in the medical area to set up yet a third facility to monitor them separately so we're going to have three different areas do we have a third area that we can use um, we'll leave that as unsure yes okay so we set up a third area and it's for not as I would say patients that just are starting to get sick so we got three separate areas one with no spots one with spots and ones that are newly sick and they're all getting the medicine so while we're doing that I'm gonna see did we locate it's getting dark did we locate the uh, technician yes okay I'm gonna lower we're in control I'm gonna raise the chaos factor a notch um, so that's taken care of let's go over here and let's move this up here so we're up to six all right um, so we will start scene 11 but let me fill in what all we got on scene 10 so we got Okay, now does the tech have a fever also? yes he does okay so he's getting the medicine also everybody with a fever is getting the medicine let's go to take we need to get to the radio so the next scene which would be 11 let's set that up I'm gonna call in on the radio and find out if I can raise anybody on the other side in particular I'm gonna go ahead and roll in particular I'm looking for Uh, yes, this is a normal scene. Okay, let's get that out of here. Uh, I am looking for oh, over here's my person's list. Uh, chief mentor. Yeah, that's who I want. I want. I want to talk to somebody that I work with. arrogant that'll work so when I raise them on the phone they sound arrogant oh so you need my help huh and I say well I don't necessarily need the help I could definitely use help anytime that we have a major outbreak or something like this I think it's kind of an all hands on deck but um, for the most part I don't need your help I don't think uh, hopefully by morning a lot of these patients will be doing better but I do have a situation where whoever was actively sabotaging the radio is most likely still in town and I haven't been able to locate who it is I can't find any of the um, security personnel in town um, 
we have located the doctor we have located the technician but as of right now the situation's kind of in the air with the you know with the rest of this and so if you could possibly send some security over and some supplies maybe send them over on the guise of supplies so will they do that let's see will they send supplies over or uh security over at uh, with the guise of you know they're sending supplies and i would say it's probably certain pretty close to it um i have to lower it down too though because i'm bad at negotiating i guess you could say no he's not going to send it okay so you're just going to send the supplies yes okay so he's just sending the security no supplies um well, I mean, that's that's better than nothing. Um, can I... I will contact you tomorrow around the same time and give you an update and see how the thing's progressing. But if at all possible, try to send the security out with the utmost urgency because there's stuff going on in town that I'm not fully aware of and i can i can i can use the help and again the arrogance uh huh i i knew it i knew you needed my help i knew that that you know sooner or later you're going to come back and have to need my help so let me update the sheet real quick so i let him know i'm going to be contacting them about for 24 hours from now with an update and if they don't hear back from me um to assume that to assume that the town is in a worse state than what I'm currently assessing it at, which is bad because I'm assessing it as a pretty bad state. Now, I'm going to ask them to put the um, medical officer on the phone, on, on the radio for the other side. And I'm going to tell them the exact recipe and procedure I use to make this medicine in case something does happen to me. In the event something happens to me, maybe they'll be able to, you know, if the, if the contagion spreads over there or something, maybe they'll be able to... Um, make the medicine faster okay so make sure it updated yep updated all right so um i bid them farewell and hopefully they got all the messages and everything to get that done um i'm actually gonna have dinner and then um, go to bed and so two so while I'm in bed something happens so we get an interruption see what's interrupted introduce a new PC return food woof Okay, so that's going to be our next scene. And let's see here. That'll be up here. Wonder what's going to happen there. Um, this scene, was I in control? I was in control. So we'll bump this up to a six.
and I'm going to update my charts now before I finish. Let's see, I did knock off some of these over here. So, let's see. I haven't found who the saboteur is. I haven't found the bites. I have solved the illness. Um, I found the medic. I found the missing tech. I found the plants that might help for the illness. So we have what's the deal with the bites or the marks and who's the saboteur left. So I've got one, two, three, four. So I get points for closing four separate um, threads. That's pretty good. That was a that was a long haul. Did I close anything here? Uh, no, no, no. Patience. Uh, I'll leave them for now because we haven't checked up on them. In the morning, we'll check up on them. Okay, so I hope you guys are enjoying the story so far. Um, next episode we'll be figuring out why I woke up in the middle of the night and what kind of food was returned by what NPC so sounds like it'll be an interesting game um, for the rails of you that watch this far have a good morning good evening and good afternoon <laughs>